It's been noted in historical studies and also recently that MS is worse in men in general. Men tend to have a more progressive course. Um, also, relapse recovery is uh, slightly worse in men with MS. Um, and in addition, uh, men with MS um, might have more cognitive disability. So that's uh, something that we've been trying to look at and address. And one of our studies has shown that this is related in part to lower testosterone levels in men with MS. And we have found in a study that we conducted uh, using our longitudinal natural history database, which is called CLIMB, um, and this stands for Comprehensive Longitudinal Investigations in MS, which is a mouthful. Um, but essentially we, we capture uh, clinical data, MRI data, and also blood samples in patients. And using this data set, we were able to show that men with MS have lower testosterone levels, and this correlates with higher EDSS scores, or disability scores, and more decline in a cognitive measure. We, we asked that question, and one of the ways to try to understand whether lower testosterone levels might predispose a man to get MS is through a measure called 2D4D. And this, is a, uh, this is actually 2D4D stands for second digit, fourth digit ratio, so basically the ratio of the second and fourth digit on your hand. And Several studies have correlated this ratio with androgen or testosterone levels in utero, so in the uterus. A lower or a higher um, ratio, uh, that means the higher uh, 2D to 4D ratio, reflects a lower testosterone level in utero. And so we did a study where we compared men with MS to healthy men who did not have MS, and we found that the men with MS had the higher 2D, 4D ratio, which reflected lower androgen levels or testosterone levels um, in the uterus. So in, in general, so in terms of um, preventative and, and this being a risk factor, this study needs to be replicated. Uh, there was another study from the UK which suggested that um, testicular hypofunction might be associated as a risk factor with MS. So there's growing data along these lines and right now we need to understand why that could happen early on in life. Could this be related to environmental or dietary factors and in the mother or, or even later on? Um, and then in terms of the testosterone levels being related to disability, so this might um, provide evidence for studies or a trial using testosterone supplements in men. However, I would caution physicians to, against using this um, in general at this point. We still need to study this further and there are risks associated. The other interesting period of life is puberty and I uh, treat children with MS. I run a pediatric MS center at the Massachusetts General Hospital. And uh, one thing that we've noticed in our work uh, in this area has been that the majority of the patients have an onset after puberty. So in fact, in a, in a study that we did with our US network uh, of pediatric MS centers data, which is a group of over 10 centers working together, uh, we found that over 80% of the patients had an onset after menarche in our, in our females, in our girls. Um, so that is a, a very large proportion. And um, so this may be an important risk period. And a lot of other risk factors have been identified in this risk period. So around mid to late adolescence. So I think there needs to be more research done in terms of disease modifying, regular disease modifying treatments and whether they differ. Um, Hopefully a study will move forward in testing testosterone in men, a replacement in men who have low levels, and um, especially in a safe setting. And, uh, and then we're looking at replicating our 2D, 4D results.